Chala, bahut bahut swagat hai aapka Wheel Mania and congratulations for winning second round. Thank you. Thank you so much. So you happy with the results? Of course I am. I really am happy. But still there is like slight uh, this thing like you would have won the title but I would say Nandini is more than deserving to win the crown. Shreya is a very very deserving candidate. I must say all 30 of the uh, contestants this year was very deserving. You know, it was a very 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 tough competition and I'm so thankful I got to be the second runner up, you know. It's a huge huge thing. Okay, so how was the journey like if you elaborate it for us? So how was the journey? The journey I would say was definitely not easy, com- especially coming from a small, you know, a small place uh like manipur uh the north east so <laughs> yeah uh, my my winner is um, giving me a lot of praise sorry for that <laughs> but uh yeah especially coming from manipur with very less exposure to the show business and very less exposure regarding uh miss india and all these things um it definitely was like a dream that i could not dream of to me miss india so yeah it definitely was not easy and um, the the on the flip side the thing that i really loved about my journey especially was the fact that you know when i landed into bombay the first day i was very scared i was scared how people are going to perceive the because of the way that i look because of the way that i talk you know i was ready to face so much you know uh, racism and discrimination and then i and then i met my team I met my girls. You know the the way they welcomed me like their as their own and the way that they treated me with so much love and so much support. I would say you know that was something that I had never imagined that I would be getting and I got it. Maybe I would say I was very very lucky and um i hope my uh future contestants from the northeast from from the north zone south zone anyone you know who comes here in bombay would you know get that type of treatment i'm sure our team our team uh, a very very talented team of um uh managers social media team admins they will do their best to make sure that the contestants coming from northeast or any part of the country they will be treated like their own children their their own uh, sisters so yeah that was something that i can share about my journey apart from the team members like apart from the team members your friend what was the one thing that pushed you till here <laughs> um i would say uh, my family i know it sounds cliche but my family was there for me since day one and the fact that they were there for me when i told them i might not win mama i might not win i, I don't i don't know i don't think i can win they were like it's okay you know uh it's okay if, even if you win don't win you're still our daughter that ca- that sense of security that i can always you know if i if i want to fall back i can f- always fall back to their arms that's some thing that um really gave me push you know that that motivation mm, uh the motivation that i needed to push myself i had i think i got it from my family so i'm really thankful but there is one fear like what if not so Correct. how you overcome through that actually what if not was my was not my biggest fear my biggest fear was that if i do end up winning and um uh the the reason would be because it's happening in manipur you know i don't think i would have i would i would like that at all i would you know i would rather i would rather just go home cry than have that sense of guilt in me but after this i can say that i i think i earned it i earned it you know and um so the fear of as you said the fear of what not what if not what if i don't win <laughs> so um i had this word with shreya our first runner up the first day i uh, landed into bombay i had my breakfast with her you know the first person that i met uh, was her actually so she was telling me strella um your life doesn't end in miss india you have a whole life ahead of miss india if you win if you don't win you still have a lot more things to work for you still have a lot more things to live for and i think you know hearing it from someone like her herself so so gorgeous so perfect um i was like yeah this is something i needed you know the fear the feeling of you know um incompleteness and then the feeling of um 
you know, uh, fear especially, I had before, it kind of just disappeared into thin air after having that conversation with her. So I think, yeah, that was something that really pushed me. And you both shared the st stage together. Yes, yes. And I'm so thankful that I got to share this victory with two amazing, amazing uh, individuals. You know, Shreya being there and Nandini, my Nandu being here. I, I must say this is a very, very, very huge uh, opportunity. Why you opted uh, international business studies? So I uh, I took a year off um, during the COVID pandemic. So I I was like I was thinking, uh, what should I do? My parents had um, things you know planned out for me which I did not like, and then I had things planned out for myself which uh, along the way was not something that I uh, felt passionate about. So um, during that time, during that period of time I had a very you know heart to heart uh, conversation with myself what do I actually want so my dad being a business person I wanted to you know um, not only follow his step footsteps but also leave that moment uh, and um, kind of experience the things that are uh, going on and about in the world of business after you know watching a lot of uh, reading a lot of um, business related books watching a lot of business related uh, documentaries and videos I think that's why I opted for it uh, and I'm really enjoying it even during our shoots when we are having a very 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 hectic uh, you know, um, plans and um, schedule planned out for us. I would always try to find time. Yesterday was actually my um, last day of submission for my assignments. Actually, <laughs> yeah, and I was writing assignments till twelve o'clock yesterday. I submitted it like five minutes before the cutoff time. So like, I'm en really enjoying it. You know. Okay. Last but important thing, you you were like being diagnosed with the yeah epilepsy. Yeah. At very young age, Correct. but still you overcome through that also, and you have reached here. So tell tell us about that. Um, epilepsy induced by stress, anxiety, and um, depression was uh, the diagnosis that was um, written. So um, overcoming that was another challenge, I would say. And thankfully, my family was there to you know tell me that I was not alone, and the fear that I had, I was not facing it alone and I'm so thankful for that but then um, along the way it just be started to become you know something of a sort that I would want to overcome it was not something that I would want to uh, live with and I found the uh, of course with the help of a lot and lot of uh, professionals and um, a lot of yoga a lot of um, self-realization I must say I overcame it and the reason I'm here today, this is what I always say, the reason that I'm here today sitting is because when I was lying there in bed, I could not move my feet, I could not move my hand. I was literally having Caesar. I would look up in the ceiling and I would imagine a life. I would imagine a life, a life where I had friends, a life where I had, you know, I could go to school, a life where I had a crown of Miss India, <laughs> a life where I was um, going to college. I was imagining that and I was dreaming for that. And right now, even to this moment, I'm working and I'm and I'm, you know, trying to live that dreams that the life that I imagined of lying in that bed. Even we wish you do a lot of lot in your career, in your life. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much Thank you so much for having me and for your time as well. Thank you so much. All the best.